Hi everyone. Let's bulk load from a relational database to Cassandra using StreamSense Data Collector. This is the pipeline we're gonna run. We're gonna go from this origin over here, a JDBC origin, in this case MySQL, and we're gonna land it in various Cassandra tables. Before we actually start this pipeline and run it, let's take a quick look at our source and destination. Here is our source. We've got the Killer Movies database in MySQL with each table having data in it. Next, we've got Cassandra. I'm gonna set that up. I've got it running locally here. And then I'm gonna run this CQL script that should have accompanied wherever you're watching this screencast. Um, and let's take a look at in the shell quickly what this looks like. So we've got the killer movie schema. Let's describe the tables. It looks very Cassandra-esque, right? We've got tables by query. So unlike our source, we've got tables or a data model that's specifically designed for Cassandra. Um, let's see if we've got any um, data in there. If I can type. And I need to know a little bit more about how to construct proper queries. So here we go, <laughs> here we go, select from movies. Um, we've got the data empty. Let's fire up our data collector then. Now you'll see that it's starting and it's gonna take about 20 seconds or so to start. And while we're waiting for it to start, a couple of things. This is just the first video showing the pipeline actually running. In the next video, we'll go through the configuration of this pipeline in much more detail. Each one of these stages is what's called in StreamSets Data Collector. This pipeline, if you see me circling here, is configured for batch. So that means when it is complete, it will finish. It is not, unlike a streaming pipeline that runs all the time, this one will finish after complete. We see these metrics here, and now the pipeline is completed successfully. If we wanna see the history of it, well, you go to the history tab, and you can then click view summary and you can get a stage by stage breakout of the data as it flows. So again, we just wanted to run this quickly. There's a lot of other things to cover. In the next video, we'll go through each one of these stages and talk about how we have them configured for bulk loading from a relational database to Cassandra. See you in the next video.